all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, it is time for another shop update and this last week has been a really fun one for me. Um, I got the chance to uh, drive all the way out to Pennsylvania and say hi to a few friends and uh, meet a few new friends and had a really fun time. So we'll be uh, covering a lot of that. But uh, some of the things that I did this last week. Uh Number one, I had a video on making boxes for the uh, Stanley 55 and 45. So I made a separate box for each one uh, that would house the plane uh, so you wouldn't have to take the plane apart to put it back in the box. Um, great for a display and did a little bit of carving on them. They were a lot of fun and uh, uh, one of the interesting things about them is I made them um, so that I wouldn't have to use any, uh, I, I, I tried to do as much as possible with the Stanley 45 or 55 to make the, uh, the actual box. So if you want to see that video, I'll leave a link over here. It was kind of a fun little build. Uh, the other one was the intro to um, a series that I'm starting about how to uh, make some hand cut joints. Uh, particularly, I started with the tenon. How do you make a, a temple, a simple tenon? And uh, this is really kind of the basis to all other uh, woodworking. And uh, so hopefully this week I'm also going to be doing a bridal joint uh, and uh, a standard mortise uh, so that you'll have some of the, the basic joints down. Um, and I'm going to be going on through a, a few others, um, half lap and so on, but uh, just kind of showing how to actually cut them and what I find to be the easiest way. Everyone does it a little bit differently, but uh, I'll be showing what, what I like to do. So this last week, uh, my family went out on vacation and went out to Pennsylvania and spent some time in the Poconos and got to see some old friends when we used to live out there. Um, also got to meet a few others. Uh, I stopped by uh, Jared Hildebrandt's house. Um, really cool guy. If you haven't uh, seen his stuff before, uh, his channel is right over here. Uh, one of the most uh, giving, great hearts, uh, just a, a wonderful maker who uh, takes odds and ends things and does some really, really cool things with them. Um, and when I stopped by there, he's like, hey, I've got something for you. And uh, he made this uh, great little display out of old parts uh, with an awl in it. And uh, I'm loving this thing. I gotta figure out where I wanna put it and I'll, uh, I'll set it up here for display somewhere. He also then said, I've got a, a hunk of hickory you can have. And uh, this stuff is as, as hard as it can get. Um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna make some handles out of it. I don't know, but uh, hickory is great for that. It's uh, just hard and sturdy. Although I might, uh, I might do some, something else. So if you have a good idea of what to do with this hunk of uh, five quarter hickory, uh, let me know, I'd love to hear about that. Then I turn around in his shop and he says, hey, I've got this old miter saw you can have. And this sucker is sweet. Uh, it's a, a great old Stanley box with an Atkins saw. Um, it's not in great condition. Uh, it's gonna need some reworking, but uh, that'll make a pretty good video. So I'm probably gonna be restoring this sometime and uh, showing how to bring this up to its original luster. This is actually a really nice Atkins and uh, with some work, this will be pretty. And here I am blown out of my mind with his generosity and how much he has given me. And then he shows me uh, this. It is a uh, headstock and tailstock uh, for a lathe. And I'm wanting to actually make a lathe here sometime. And I thought this would be absolutely perfect. Um, so he, he gave me these and this is just, I'm blown away by your generosity. And I have to say a huge thank you, Doc. Um, you're an awesome fellow. And uh, so I'm looking forward to making that lathe. I'm going to be probably making a flywheel here soon um, and playing around with that. So yeah, keep an eye out for that video. It's going to be kind of a, a fun one. Next up, I swung by Philly and I got to meet John. Uh, John is a, uh, a longtime viewer of the channel and a, an amazing inspiration and encouragement to me. Um, he has just uh, helped me out in so many ways. Uh, he is the guy I actually made those boxes for this video last week. Um, and uh, those were in trade for the Stanley 55, which I absolutely love this beast. And uh, I have to say a huge thank you for that. But uh, John actually then took me to um, what I now consider to be heaven. Uh, Ludwig's Antiques, um, run by uh, Don, a really cool guy with an amazing amount of history. Uh, if I had time, I would have spent three or four days there going through some of the tools and just learning from him. Absolutely blown away by uh, your information. And Don, I'm, I'm hoping I can hang out there some other time. Uh, but his tools were just absolutely phenomenal. He had uh, yeah, some really, really cool rare things. And uh, um, if, if I had the money, I would have spent a lot of it there. So um, I will probably be swinging by there next time I'm in Pennsylvania. 
Some of the things I got at his shop were, uh, number one, um, these beautiful old floats. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup work on them. Um, but I've been wanting to make a set of planes, and these will um, come in extremely handy uh, for cleaning out the bed. So I'm looking forward to playing with these and showing you how these work. I also got this uh, shoulder plane. It is not much to look at, and it's a, a, an infill that uh, um, Dan was saying is probably from a kit. Wasn't really a great job on it, but I think with some work on this, I can make it absolutely gorgeous. And it's been uh, something I've just wanted to kind of fix up on. This is this will make a, a good project for me, and so hopefully it'll be a couple of videos coming with uh, making this thing special. Another tool that I uh, was able to get there it was a uh, Stanley number no. eighty. Um, this is something I've been wanting for a while, and it's a really nice tool for basically holding a card scraper, um, allowing you to get the the finish on the uh, the wood you want. Um, I'll be doing a couple videos on this, and this one is actually, uh, uh, you know, it's not an amazing condition, um, and it doesn't have the original um, card in there, but uh, I will be having fun with that. So keep an eye out for those videos. For a while, I've also been wanting a round bottom spoke shave, just for getting into tight things. Um, I'm particularly doing handles and items like that. And uh, John brought this up to me. It's a, a Champion uh, spoke shave, and uh, this one has a mouth that you can you can open it up and you can flip it around, so it can either be a flat bottom or a rounded bottom. And uh, it, it is a, a really, really nice um, idea of that. And so this is something I may have fun playing with. You need to do a little bit of uh, reworking on it to bring it up to uh, snuff, but uh, it's a beautiful tool and one I'm looking forward to using. I also got to go to Isaac's shop. Um, Isaac owns Blackburn Tools, uh, and he is the one I bought the kit for uh, the Rubo style frame saw and the uh, kerfing plane. And I've been wanting to go out there and uh, meet him. He does some amazing, amazing work on tool kits. Um, and I, I, I have a lot of his things that I'm intending to buy here soon. Definitely go take a look at what he does. I'll leave a link to his website in the, the description below. And uh, I love the guy. He has an amazing eye for um, great little innovations and the things that can be done differently. And uh, beautiful, beautiful work. So thanks for letting me into your shop. I am uh, looking forward to seeing you sometime in the future. The hand tool build off is uh, coming down to a close and uh, got a couple days left. I came back from my vacation to uh, find uh, quite a few boxes. So um, I don't have time today to actually show you what all came in and that would take uh, quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video probably sometime this week just showing all the tools once it closes, um, everything that is uh, um, in for this and uh, what we will be uh, giving out. Um, and then uh, be working with uh, John to actually uh, choose the winners for it and find out who gets the Stanley number 45 and uh, smoothing plane. I am really looking forward to giving those out. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. Um, and on that video, when we announce the winners of it, um, then we'll be telling people how they can uh, go about winning um, all of these tools that have been made and uh, seeing how we can get those into the hands of uh, people who could use them. So keep your eyes open for that. I'm really looking forward to uh, giving away a bunch of tools. It has been an absolutely awesome time. So I hope you like this. Um, if you do see one of these tools you'd love to see me do a uh, restore video on, please let me know. I might bump that to the top of the list. Um, I just, uh, I'm just i looking forward to playing with all these. I've got a lot of uh, things on my uh, my docket now. Uh, I also want to say a huge thank you to uh, my patrons on Patreon. Um, you guys have been an amazing encouragement to me, and uh, I, I just got to say thank you. Um, so uh, look down in the description below. Uh, there's a couple names of, uh, of people who have been helping me out, and uh, uh, you mean the world to me, and I just want to say thank you. So uh, that's about it for this week. I hope you like it. If you did, please hit like, think about subscribing. Also, feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.